Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video today. It's on um, repair of a power supply on a 760 Optiplex from Dell. Um, sorry for the quality, it was after hours at work, so it's not the best. It was done with my cell phone, I didn't have my camera, but it just kind of came up. It's a big problem and um, wanted to do a video on and on for a while. So thank you so much for watching and see y'all in a minute. Hello everyone and welcome back to Allen Tech. Today I have with me a 760 with what I believe to be a bad power supply. And here's why. These 760s have an issue with their power supply. It goes out quite often. And I don't know, I think it's showing up fairly well. It has two blinking lights right there. And it's trying to give you an error code, but the power supply is shorting out beforehand. And I'm going to show you today how to change out the power supply if you're unfortunate to have one of these happen to you. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug this and then discharge it. Discharge it for a minute. Make sure there's no power left in the system. And then I am going to open the case. And then there's the power supply that we want to change. So I'm going to turn this off for a minute, get this on its side, and show you how to remove it. All right, and welcome back. Um, what I've done here is I removed the CD-ROM drive which goes into here and that comes out with this little blue tab you push on that or you pull on that and then you pull this back and it snaps out also it's easier to take out the hard drive with these two little tabs and then we have to take out this power cord and also I don't know how well I can see it but that power cord also, which snakes around here. And then to actually remove the power supply, we take out these three screws. Sorry. Looking through the camera is a little bit hard. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you a picture whenever I get the power supply out. Okay, and we have the power supply out now. This is one of the little Dell. Get this flipped over for you. There is the model number for it. Now, these go out quite a bit. Not sure why. Um, we actually have a refurbished computer dealer that we get these from, these computers from. And they actually send us these under warranty so we don't have to pay for them outright. Um, I'll try to put a picture screenshot up of some I found on eBay, they're about 30 bucks, which may or may not be worth it. Um, these Dell 760 Slims, they're pretty, I mean, it's a decent computer. It does pretty good for us here at the school. So there's also one thing I forgot to mention is there's a power cord here that you have to take out. I didn't really point that out. And then also there's a power cord right there by that blue tab you have to take out as well. So I should have mentioned that whenever I was disassembling it. I'm sorry for the quality. I am after hours at work here. Just wanted to bring this to y'all. Um, also a note, the 760 power supplies, they have to look like this for this slim version. The um, thin case computer. They do actually make a 760 for the big case that looks similar to this one over here and that power supply will not work um, this one is specifically made it just has enough cables and everything for this computer I mean there's four cables and that's all you need for this computer there is no expansion because there's no room for expansion in this one so 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and break out the new power supply that I have and shove it in and show you that it's working. So I will be right back. Um, the instructions for that are the same as just in taking it apart. Okay, everyone, and I have the 760 back. I went ahead and put it back because this is actually my office computer. So um, we're going to go ahead, turn it on. And as you can see, no more blinking. Yay! And we're actually starting up. So, yeah, unfortunate if this happens. I hate to see that because it's a really good computer, but it kind of sucks. Especially the ones we get are refurbished models. And they come to us, they're already been used. And these power supplies go out quite frequently, probably one or two a month out of all of the computers that I have at my campuses. And if you're buying these in the aftermarket, which does happen quite a bit because these are refurbished, you can get them very cheap, I think $150 or so um, from refurbishers. So you might have one of these, and I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that power supply... If you're getting those two blinking lights, that's almost certainly what you have. So you have to decide if um, you want to pay out for the power supply. I would suggest, if at all possible, getting a remanufactured or a new power supply. They're starting to get very rare, but you're probably looking at 50 or $60 for those. There are used ones that you can take a chance on for probably $30 or so also. But... That's the fix, I'm afraid. So, I hope this helps somebody. Remember to give me a thumbs up if you like the video, a thumbs down if you didn't. And um, if you think what I do is good enough of your time, I would love to have you as a subscriber. I'm trying to do videos every Monday. Um, maybe looking to do some more. This has been the first after hours work one that I've done, but I really wanted to get this one out because this happens quite a bit. So, hopefully this is helpful to somebody. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.